Hello, everyone. As Natalia said, who wants to learn? If you do, come over here. How are you all today? It's wonderful to see your beautiful face. So, a little bit about who I am. First of all, what are we talking about today? There's a lot of topics that I covered. And the one that we're going to go over today is honestly one of my very favorites. I literally sleep, eat, drink this topic, which is herbal medicine. And so, being able to stand here with you all today, teaching the history of hemp and the future of CBD is one of the most important things, and I'll, I'll tell you why. A little bit about who I am for those of you who do not know me. A summary, so you don't have to read all of this. But I've been in manufacturing for 20 years, over 20 years now. And we have manufactured for brands that are carried in your high-end spas, your Four Seasons, Mandarin Oriental, your high-end retailers, Nordstrom, Neiman's, your natural products, marketplaces, Whole Foods. All of this means something to me because that means these formulas are getting out to people. And that's why I like to say that. Of course, sometimes people say, what did you say? Do you formulate for who? And that's important, but so you all know me. What's important to me is that these formulas get out to the world, and I'll tell you why. I come from a long lineage of herbologists and doctors. In fact, I'm ninth generation. I'm the very first woman in my lineage, and the very first to ever let these formulas, which are known as B-bomb, or secret formulas, it's a translation, it sounds very mystical, but the truth is it's a very well and understood thing in traditional medicines and cultures that have existed for thousands of years. So I take it very seriously, ever since I was as young as you can remember. People used to say to me, gosh, Janelle, it's like you put the world on your shoulders. And, but the truth is, to me, in some sense, it is on my shoulders. Because when you come from a lineage of people, of human beings, who dedicate their entire lives to understanding the human condition, so that all of us can live our healthiest and happiest lives possible, I tell you what, you feel sometimes like the world is on your shoulders. Because if you do not share this knowledge, these formulas, then that's a very big deal and not such a great thing. So ever since as far back as I remember, I have dedicated my life to doing so. I never thought that it would end me up here today with all of you, right? I thought I'd be in clinic treating patients. And as life went on, I started to realize the world can be a clinic. And one of the reasons I want to share this with you on this stage today at the USA CBD Expo is because I am very grateful to this herbal ingredient, which is what we're going to talk about today. I'm grateful because in 20 years, remember, 20 years ago, I used to be told when we were one of the first to ever talk about herbal products, I was at the forefront of natural products. Can you all imagine that there was a time that natural products were not even really that cared about? I certainly see you agree. What a crazy thing, but there was a time. And we were some of the first, which is another reason why I brought up all the places we're in. Behind the scenes, what does that mean? It is not easy to formulate natural products when not many natural ingredients are available to formulate with. Especially when you have powerful herbal ingredients, which if some of you are familiar, they can be smelly, they can be different colors, they can be sticky, and now you have to make beautiful formulas carried in your Four Seasons and Nordstrom's, right? And that's why that matters to me. My mentor always taught me, Spoken words can lie, written words can lie, but what does not lie ever are the results. And that is why I stand before you today. The reason why I can even say I have a lineage is because over thousands of years, which is not my lineage, but the medicine, over centuries of my lineage, these products work. Why? Why are we all here today? I ask all of you, why are you here today? Maybe some of you can answer. It's a little loud. Luckily, I take the formulas. You have good chi, as I call it. I can probably blow everybody away, but I'll keep it come down for all of you. <laughs> but why are you here today? I'm interested. OK, I love that. It was perfect. Because one of the first things I was going to say is, I am certain, and I'm so happy to see that many of you might be here today to understand formulation, to understand this incredible herbal ingredient to help our, your condition, to help live the healthiest life possible, whether that means you have certain ailments or not. Some of you may be here today not only to help yourself and your own wellness, but to help those you love. And some of you may be here today to make your own products. In fact, that is what I do, and my lab does, right? But no matter what you're here for today, including myself, before I ever stand up on this stage, I ask myself, self, what is your 
your intention today? What is your purpose? So it is really important, and one of my favorite things to talk about, to always check in, even if it takes a second. Why am I here? Because in a world, even in this wonderful show today, there's so much, it can be overwhelming. Particularly in this past year that we all have lost through. So much information. The most important thing we can do is empower ourselves with understanding, educating ourselves with correct information, and being aware. So, why did I even get into this industry? And then we will quickly jump in. When I first received a call, basically our lab, we always have been through word of mouth. Okay, this is actually a really exciting day for us because this is the first time, and I can't even remember how long, really the first time ever as my lab, JDK Wellness Labs, we have booth. And that's because during this past year, we were able to build our private label division, which means the family members can get out to that many more people. I have never thought we would even have a chance to do so because we are so busy. But when I received a call not long ago, well, what am I talking about? In my life, it's not long ago, but how it feels, lifetimes, right? But about 10 years ago is when I started to step into this space. And I received a call from basically the pioneers of this industry. We were basically one of the largest manufacturers to ever, and one of the first manufacturers to produce the CBD salve that we talked about today, the roll-on. I know I don't always speak in this way, but I recognize why it's so important. Basically, we are known to have created the first ever luxury CBD skincare line. All this means a lot to me because when I first received a call from my lab, Dr. Kim, we have someone here who wants you to formulate. I said, well, first of all, how they find us, we don't have a sign. <laughs> that, that's actually how it goes. They said they want you to work with cannabis. I said, no, thank you, and I have to talk. <laughs> this is because I did not know what their intention was. What I'm going to share with you right now is I know about him, and I will call it that. I know about this incredible plant. And, it, and at first, I didn't know what their intention was. Long story short, I saw that their intention to begin was actually to help children, to help people, but to help children. Now remember, I was at the forefront of the natural products industry. I was at the forefront of the herbal products industry, where people used to say, oh, at that time I wasn't a doctor. Oh, Janelle, that sounds wonderful, but no one's gonna understand Asian medicine, so that's really nice, but a nice smile. And I'd move forward. And now guess what? K-beauty or Korean beauty is the most well-known beauty industry in the world, right? So once again, I remember, okay, am I gonna jump into this industry? My intention is to understand, and it's important for all of us to understand, where this herbal ingredient comes from. I know where it comes from. As we will talk about in just a second here, it is one of the 50 fundamental herbs of Eastern medicine. Chinese medicine, traditional oils medicine, you'll need to use that all interchangeably. My lineage knows herbal medicine. Right? And so I thought to myself, okay, I will. I will commit myself to educating people and making us all aware in the best way possible. So as this ingredient changes the world, as we see it is right now, I want to make sure, to the best of my ability, we understand it correctly. Where it comes from, make sure that we are certain so that when we put it into our own bodies, we know what we're doing, and when we go to share it with others, we know that they are do we are doing good things for them, and we're not guessing, right? It's not so good to guess with your health. So, hemp, cannabis, all of your cannabinoids and terpenes, they have a 10,000 year of history. Let's just take a moment to understand that. <laughs> we all just got a pretty long year, one year. <laughs> I'm talking about 10,000 years. I can't even go there, I don't know. Some of these things blow my mind. So, 8,000 years ago, 8,000 BCE, 8,000 BC, which you, whichever you prefer, hemp was known in China, right, as part of their culture. I won't go through every single bullet point, but I certainly am going to point out a couple that I think are important to us. In 2737, this is very important to me, 2737 BCE, so 4,000 plus years ago, right? There was an emperor named Emperor Shennong of China. This is very important. He is known as the divine farmer. That's important because let's take a moment to understand that China, India, these medicines are thousands of years old. Pretty much all medicine, everyone can agree, in some way, shape, or form comes from plants. This is one of the first herbal doctors of ever. He is basically, they call him the divine farmer, the original farmer, because he is one of the first to ever understand and start to record medicine. That's a pretty big deal. Way back then, for our herbal father, basically, he already started to understand the use of hemp, cannabis, 4,000 years. As we move forward, we start to see, moving closer, not, not too close, but moving closer to our modern day, we have in 1700s, 
700 to 600, 700 to 600 as we see, right? Moving down, all of a sudden we start to go into Europe, 700 to 300 BCE. We move into Greece, and then again, another very important understanding, as you all will see in just a little bit. In 200, now we're moving right forward. Basically, there was a surgeon. He's the first ever known surgeon in China, which way, obviously existed way before America. So one of the first surgeons ever, he did brain surgery. His name is Quato. Very well known in Chinese medicine, and truly, now that everything is starting to integrate in medicines all over the world. He was one of the first, if not the first surgeons, and he was one of the first to ever start creating anesthesia, using anesthesia. And the analgesic that he used, basically to numb yourself, right, before surgery, was hemp. This is that long ago. So why am I telling you all this? Because to me, it is very, very important as I said, to understand and be certain with this medicine. There are a lot of people in this world, actually I was reminded not long ago, that although I feel like I've been doing this for a lifetime, you caught me genuinely being in that moment, they often say in the CBD industry, right, if you've been around for 10 years, like it's light years, right? Well, the truth is I have to be reminded sometimes, especially right now, actually, my lab is starting to open the doors for Asia. In Asia, CBD is not even, is not even allowed yet, right? And I see you, I have to be reminded too. Not a lot of people really understand this herbal ingredient. And this, to me, opens up the doors, and I've seen it, open up so many people's eyes to understanding of natural medicine. And I think that there's a place, which is a whole other seminar for both. Let us understand Western. Let us understand Eastern. Let us understand Ayurvedic. And let us choose what is the best possible options, because they each have their place. This is why this is important. So as we look through this, we understand how much this herb, it, in and of itself, throughout history has made its way because it is that effective and that healing, right? So, moving forward to more modern day, we start to see that now it has entered into America, right? So in 1842, we see that it already is starting to be published in the English medical journals. This is a big deal, right? Given especially that it's taken thousands of years to get to this place, but how amazing to make that kind of difference and stance. Then of course we move in, we start to see that in 1850, very important, now it's in the US pharmacopoeia, okay? In 1941, as many of us, I, I'm sure, understand, it was taken away as a medicine. For whatever reasons, that's not our topic today. <laughs> but the beautiful thing is, it's back, and it's back with, uh, with a vengeance. I don't know if that fits, it sounds very extreme, but let's go with it. <laughs> so. As you all know, my expertise, expertise lies in traditional Oyam's medicine, but I also want to acknowledge Ayurvedic medicine, which of course, again, also, just like Chinese medicine goes back thousands of years, so much of our modern day medicine comes from the understanding of, in some way, shape, or form, these medicines that existed before. I find this very interesting, that in Ayurvedic history, of course, it has such a long history, but it was known as the, where is it, the sacred grass. I might just remember that, so whatever. But it was known as sacred grass. So one of the things you'll see that I talk about in this presentation right now is that I will stick to a lot of the words used. Because one thing I always appreciate from our ancient cultures, and, and also in the Asian language, if I may say, a lot of times, if you do not know this, the, the words are literally written in characters. And I don't know if you know this or not, but the characters literally tell a story. I mean, what a beautiful thing. That's why one character can have so many different translations. That's why they say even Chinese, they, there's no possible way that they can understand each character because it just tells so many stories. What I have found in studying herbal medicine and plant medicine is that when you start to understand some of the words they used, I hope that you enjoy it with me, it just makes so much sense. It's gonna be a little different for all of you. Like, what do you mean rakes accumulation? But when I go to explain what that means, you're like, ah. Oh. And if there's one thing I've seen over the thousands of people that I've talked to, treated around the world, I have always appreciated that when I start to explain in this manner, they hear it and they think, you know, that makes sense. And a lot of things don't always make sense. <laughs> so how nice, right? So in traditional oriental medicine, one of the reasons I know, and you can share this too with anyone that it makes sense to do so. In Chinese medicine, traditional oriental medicine, hemp, CBD, cannabis is one of the 50 fundamental herbs. Do you know how many herbs there are? There are so many herbs, right? It is one of the 50 fundamental herbs, and this has been known for thousands of years, okay? So why is this the case? As I said already, Emperor Shen Nong, the divine farmer, he kind of started it all. Really interesting when it comes to the word or the character for hemp. It is ma, which is translated as hemp, cannabis, or numbness. This is what I'm saying. Isn't it funny? Because way back then, when they didn't have books the way that we do it, they didn't 
write things down the way that we know. This is how they would tell these stories and understand. And the story, the name that they called him was Numbus, which makes a lot of sense. In 1 AD, that's where you start to see that it is now part of the oldest medical pharmacopoeia. Now remember before I was talking at the US, this is in 1 AD, right? I call the pens out shape, but you don't have to remember all of this. But it is known that cannabis is one of the superior herbs. This is very important to understand, especially as I go into proper formulation, just a little tidbit of why it's so important. Because you have to know this when you are taking products. You have to know this when you are formulating products. Because it is very important to understand that you can have the best ingredient in the world, but if you don't know the formula that it's inside and you try to feed it to your body, if your body, if your body does not absorb it, and better yet, process it, and eliminate what's not used, it does no good for you. And in fact, it can actually be harmful. And this is something I really love to educate for as many people as possible. This is the principle of herbal medicine in the human body. Because so many people just take things because it sounds good. Take this, it's good for you. You take it. Okay, we're lucky because when it comes to natural medicine, it's harder to have lots of side effects and hurt ourselves, but that is not really the proper way to take formulation. Super important and definitely one of my missions. I already told you about Watto. At the bottom, you can see one of the first surgeons. He knew how to use this in a proper manner, right? So, like I said before, in the Eastern Medical Pharmacopoeia, the Herbal Medicine Pharmacopoeia, these are some of the main properties or key characteristics this is how they stated thousands of years ago until now. They say it breaks accumulations. What does that mean? Long story short, let's talk about pain and discomfort. When you have pain, whether it is from excess or deficiency, meaning whether you injured yourself and you are inflamed and in pain, or you have too much chronic, you use something too much, and all of a sudden your knees start to really hurt. No matter what, it means things aren't flowing. I speak all around the world about beauty, for example, right? Skincare and beauty. I speak about health. I always say, you're lucky to be here. I'll be more quiet when I tell you guys this because I don't want everyone else to know. <laughs> the secret of youth, the secret to health and beauty means you have an abundance of circulation. For those of you who understand she, of vital energy, which is a tangible thing, believe it or not, in some way, shape, or form. If you have an abundance of and a free flow, meaning your circulation moves, you have oxygen and nutrients traveling through your body. That is the key to health. That is the key to beauty, okay? So when you start to understand that, now I'll talk a little louder. <laughs> so all of you know a lot more than all of us. When you start to understand that, you understand why they wrote down this incredible ingredient breaks accumulations. Accumulation is stagnation. That's what they recognized thousands of years ago and exactly what each one of these companies is doing, whether they know it or not. <laughs> Next, it dispels wind and reduces convulsions. Again, to me, I'm like, I get this, but probably I imagine all of you hearing this for the first time. Dr. Kim, what are you saying? You know what this means? It means convulsions, just like they say. This means that some of the first people who ever came to us, and I won't speak on this too much, it's not our area, but certainly we all know that it makes a big difference for a lot of people in a very big way. And thousands of years ago, they knew about it. Regulates yin and yang, depending on how much time I have whether I spend a lot of time on a few slides from now. But what this means to me is the endocannabinoid system. I cannot tell you how grateful I am. When there are certain principles that I really wish to share and have it resonate and make sense to people, such as balance, right? The yin and yang, for example. You don't have to remember all of this, but I hope that we all understand, like I just said, one of the secrets to our health is that balance. One of the secrets to formulation is the balance. Everything comes back to this. And when we talk about the endocannabinoid system, all of a sudden people are like, do you know that we have to have homeostasis in our bodies? I'm like, yes, I totally know this. And I'm so happy you now understand. <laughs> because thousands of years ago, they talked about it, regulated yin and yang. Everything in your body in Eastern medicine is yin and yang. All of your organs are categorized this way. Your circulation is categorized this way. Every single thing, masculine, feminine energy, is categorized in this way, everything you can think of. The universe is this, you have day and night, you have loud and you have soft. And that is yin and yang. And thousands of years ago, they knew, they started to know, hundreds of years ago, they started to write down that this herb has that effect, equals the endocannabinoid system, which is a system, let's take for a second, in our lifetimes, they discovered this new system that in centuries and generations from now, in our lifetime, they started. That's a pretty big deal. And then calms Shen. If you were to actually translate this, it means calms the spirit. But this spirit is different. We can have that conversation another time. 
This spirit, I would liken it to the mind. It calms the mind, right? And so again, to me, it blows my mind. Hundreds of, for hundreds of years, for thousands of years, people understood this, which is all of the things, truly, tell me one product that you walk by that does not include those principles on some way, shape, or form, right? So moving on, this just kind of gives you a little bit more information, but ultimately I just covered all of this. But you can actually see that they started to say in their translation, for example, it settles anxiety, it helps to regulate, it helps topically to clear heat and toxicity. One of the reasons I love to use this ingredient in even skincare is because I always say there's three main properties in the podcasts or talks that I always do, right? It's an antioxidant, it's anti-inflammatory, and it's very nourishing. Those are the three. If ever someone asks, you can break it down to that. And of course, if you have all three of those things, you're in good shape. So, as I said before, why I love this understanding of the endocannabinoid system, right? So, when we put this, as I told you before, think about why do I want to put this ingredient to my body? Why do I want to formulate with this ingredient? I have the luxury with my lab and my team to be able to choose a lot of times the, the incredible brands that we work with. And one of my main things that I always care about is why are you putting this ingredient into your product? Really funny, we have hundreds of clients, right? And that's a lot when you know the process behind it all. <laughs> Probably more than that. But every single person that sits down at the table with us to tell us about their beautiful brand or what their intention is, you know, every single person has a different intention in some way, shape, or form. It's really a brilliant thing. It excites me. I've been doing this for 20 years. And that one time as someone sat down to actually have the same story and the same purpose behind their brand. But when you start to understand, going forward, why are you putting this ingredient in, understand that these are the main reasons, right? Whether it be in skincare, whether it be dietary supplements, nutraceuticals, pain medicine, detox, you name it, calming. This is because it's able to balance our body and create that homeostasis, as we know very well. Now, I kind of already touched on this a little bit, but understanding one ingredient is one thing. True herbal medicine, which this ingredient is ultimately part of, True herbal medicine is, of course, I spent, you don't even want to know how many years and will, for the rest of my life, study herbal ingredients. Each one. They say true herbologists can study one ingredient their entire lives and still not know it. That's how much heart and soul goes into the people who have, who have taught us so much throughout centuries, right? But when you start to understand that one ingredient is so important, but actually what's the most important, I already started touching on this, is the synergy between ingredients. So, I can go through all of this, but the main point is, of course, whole plant medicine. I think we have a, some understanding, right? This is like the synergism, an entourage effect, these words that we hear. What does this mean? It means, yes, in one, you can have your cannabinoids. We work with a lot of these, we understand them well. You can have your terpenes. At the root of all of this is the plants. And this goes into the whole conversation, which again, we certainly don't have time to talk about today. But why is it important sometimes full spectrum versus not? I don't think anyone can or should sit up here and ever say, or at least acknowledge that full spectrum, there is certainly something to that. Because that plant was grown in that certain way. It has a certain strength, we call it adaptogenic. One way of thinking about it, we formulate a lot with this principle. It means that the plant is grown, it survives in a certain way, has certain properties. That when we put that into our body, it's so perfectly created in that one plant. When you put it in your body, that's the most therapeutic way to ingest it or, or apply it, right? Okay, so that's why that is so important to break it down. Entourage effect, why is it important? Because all of those things work together. Let's take this uh, macrocosm, let's take it one step further. This is what I teach in a lot. This is the secret that's been passed down in my lineage. You can have an incredible ingredient, but when you know how to properly formulate it, creating a perfect recipe with other ingredients, that's where you have powerful formulas. That's where you have formulas that will truly make a difference and will go into each one of your bodies and start to rebalance what you need at that given time. Because our bodies, every moment, from the time you woke up to sitting right now to the time you go to bed, your body is different and constantly changing. So if you have a proper formula, you know how to make that perfect recipe, and you go and you put that formula into or onto your body, it knows. It knows you. How beautiful, right? And so it's very important for me to share this with all of you. Again, whether you're taking it or creating it. You know, a lot of people come to us, I actually just spoke to someone at her booth walking by, and I was only there for a couple of seconds. <laughs> And she said, I really want to create this formula, but I don't exactly know how to. Well, that's exactly what we're here for, and that's why I dedicate my life to this. But it is important, no matter what, to at least understand these things. Just putting that intention and that purpose, already you're one step forward in your success, right? Moving on, I already touched on synergism. 
One step further, I think you'll all find this interesting based on your look, <laughs> what I'm feeling, is that you can have one ingredient. Let's take CBD, right? Let's take ginseng, whatever it might be. The effects of one ingredient might be what they are. Now you start to formulate with other ingredients. Do you know you can actually exponentiate the effects of that ingredient, in this case, CBD? If you know how to properly formulate it, and you take certain cannabinoids, and you start to make them in a perfect recipe, meaning dosage, where that herb comes from, there's so much, and you start to put that in a formulation, right? You can exponentiate the effects that we know of, of CBD. That's the importance. Do you see what I'm saying? That is truly proper formulation. That is truly the understanding of this herbal ingredient. So it is important for us to understand this. They enhance each other, and they bring out the bioavailability. So however that, whatever that means to you, whichever one catches you, that's ultimately what I need. It makes it more bioavailable, more useful to your body, okay? So for example, an interesting point, now that we are all here, what are some of the facts, okay? So for those of us who are looking to build a brand, because I do want to acknowledge you, as I said, to some of us, it might feel, for myself included, that CBD has been around for a long time, but it's just the beginning. And as you can see here, and they say in 2025, in the beauty industry alone, they think it's going to be an $800 billion business, which is all wonderful. This is what I have to say in closing, right? Because we already talked about all this. In closing, what a wonderful thing in this life to be able to create success, to create a great reality for ourselves. I tell you what, I always want to take care of my family, my extended family, meaning my team, right? I want to take care of as many people as possible, but I want to be able to, and I want to be able to create a beautiful reality. But what an awesome thing to be able to, in some way, shape, or form, whether it is sharing this understanding that much more, whether it is creating a product line, whether it is buying white label and starting for the first time, and sharing this incredible education and formulation. What a beautiful thing to wake up every morning, no matter how hard the work, let me tell you, go to bed every night knowing that we truly are making a difference in this world, right? And so that's what I really, really do stand by. I always like to live by, one day, maybe no one will remember my face. One day, maybe no one will remember my name. But it is my greatest wish to be able to plant some kind of positive seed in some way, shape, or form that will last for a long time. And I see some of you resonating with this, and I'm grateful I don't always have this conversation. But I really mean that, especially after the year that we have, and this is the first time, at least myself, I've been in a, a place where there's so many people and we're all together. So I really appreciate you all being here. I hope we, we all gain something together. Oh yes, also, you can do all of this. <laughs> this is how you can make it in this industry, right? But it is true to know that there's that many different options to take, to ingest as part of your daily routine to maintain and prevent, not just wait until you're sick and then try to look for a solution. That's my main key of putting all this up here, in fact. Whether you are building a brand or taking it. And then, I already talked a little bit about this. We're at booth 230, if you have any other questions, I'd love to share. We have some formulas there, which we don't always have, which is amazing, it means a lot to me, right? So certainly I see some people taking photos. And then, how to reach me, uh, this is my website. You can find me at JBK Wellness Labs. We now have JBK Wholesale, which is also connected to Hemp Labs of America. <laughs> so there's a lot going on. Uh, you can certainly find me on social. I do, I do my very best to stay in communication. Um, and actually, pretty soon I'll be launching a book. So that works more with the philosophical side of everything. That's through uh, Watkins and Penguin Random House. So it will certainly be on your shelves. And it is called Young Sun, The Art of Living Meditation. I don't always talk about this, but I've been told by many, please share this, and I know how much it's done for me. So I want to share that for you. So thank you, everyone. It's been wonderful spending time with you. Ladies and gentlemen, hands together for Dr. Janelle Kim. That was fantastic. Thank you so much. An honor to always hear you. Now I got a special announcement. Don't forget, coming up later today, uh, we do have the B2B networking and awards ceremony. This will be taking place on the main stage at 5.45 today. It is presented by Generation Hemp. Now, if you're looking to network, I mean, you want to see people who have been doing stuff in the business, this is going to be the place. Not that everywhere else isn't, but the award show is kind of, you know, it's the award show, you want to be here. You want to check it out and see who's making some moves, right? So uh, we have our next speaker coming up shortly. Please stick around. So 